You know, I've seen these things online for the last probably close to a year and uh, I always wanted to try one and today I'm going to get to you. So I went and bought one. It's here. Let's crack it open right after this. Alright, so this this comes in just this box. No labeling on it. I haven't opened it. I don't know what's inside it, so this is first time for you and for me. Kind of exciting. What is it? Well, it's the, as you can see here, hopefully, fourth axis gimbal stabilizer. This is supposedly a universal one. It should be able to fit pretty much any gimbal that you and I have. Now, I have a couple gimbals, especially for my phone. I have a gimbal for my mirrorless camera. We're going to try it on both. So the phone, phone version and the mirrorless one, just to see if it's helpful at all. But first off, let's take a look inside and see what this is like. How does this open? I don't even, oh, there we go. It's like a shoe box. Yep, like a shoe box. So here it is. Boom. So what's inside it? Well, you get the fourth axis gimbal stabilizer by Star, Star Trek. Star, Star Trek. What does it say? I don't know. You Here, I'm just going to, I'll put it like that. You guys can pause the video. You can take a look, read it. That's, it is what it is. Cool. Anything else on the back? Well, you get a little, it's, it's not very big. You get a little color manual, which shows you how to set this up. Front, back, again, if you want to pause this, take a look. Off you go. Cool. That's it. Inside here, what do you get? You get these, which I'm guessing will cover some of the screws so that you don't damage anything, but I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to look because it says in the box, doesn't actually say anything about these. That's all right though. Put those there. And you get your springs, because springs are good. A bunch of different springs, I think, depending on, nope, the right amount of springs, a bunch of tighteners, your tools, etc., etc. Nice. And last but not least, you get, this is gonna fall over. You get the actual fourth axis Sounds cool when you say it, right? Fourth axis. You're now entering the fourth axis, not dimension. You could be entering the fourth dimension. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're doing with your life, your time. All right, so this this does have a set of springs on it already, which is cool. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Little gears. This has... Now this one here is light. It's super light. It's made of plastic, which is why it's a little cheaper. It came in around, I think, $99 Canadian. These have some tightening knobs, which is excellent. I think those will help adjust the tightening. You can see as well that the clamp inside is oval, so that as long as your handle isn't, you know, smaller than that, then it should be able to clamp on top of it, which is cool. And you do have on the bottom, here, where's the bottom, here, and here, quarter inch thread mounts so that you can add extra things like monitors, lights, microphones, whatever, because that can be a big deal too that, you know, you want to put a microphone on here because of your gimbal or stabilizer or whatever, it becomes too heavy. So this, you can plug it in here so that your stabilizer can do its job, right? Look, look at me. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Hello. Uh, whatever. Okay, right, never mind. I am going to set this up. I think for my stabilizers, they're not that heavy. So I think the springs that are in here right now will probably be fine. Let's actually take this outside and, oh yeah, see? Tightening knobs. This will tighten, I think, the springs. So you can kind of adjust those. Does that tighten that? Possibly. I will look at the instructions and then talk to you a bit more in a minute. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this right here. We're gonna go outside. I'm gonna get my daughter. I think she's awake, I don't know. And uh, let's see what these are like. All right, let's go outside. Okay, so we're outside here and you can see I've got the new fourth axis attachment on here with this camera. And one of the things that I think you should be aware of is that, and you'll be able to see this footage as well, this can actually smooth out your your motions actually a lot as you can see with the camera here. One of the other things that I really liked is I wanted a handle just 
so that I can get two hands on my gimbal. So it just automatically keeps it a lot steadier. So when I'm moving forward and backwards for this, it should keep the camera way more steady than if I just naturally had it with one hand. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on the street and I'm gonna do a quick run and we're gonna see how this is bounce wise to see if it actually helps because that's one of the things that it should do is help take away a lot of that motion. At least that's the hope. All right, let's go to the street and take a look. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick run test. I'm just gonna run up and down the street so you guys can see this. I'll probably be out of breath, but it is what it is. All right, let's see how this does. So we've got this set to wide. You're gonna be recording, and uh, I'll be back in a sec. So first I'm gonna do a walk. Just a nice little walk. Now we're gonna come back, and we're gonna do a run. Okay. All right, so that's running a Canon M50 with a Snopa Kylan M gimbal here. And what I'm gonna do now is change this up and put an actual iPhone style gimbal, so the Smooth 4 on this, and do the exact same test. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back now and we've changed gimbals. We've got the Zayun Smooth 4 attached to the 4 axis. And what we're gonna do now is do the exact same test where I'm gonna do a small walk and then we're gonna go back and I'm gonna do a run. So let's go back to the street and take a look and see if this helps. Okay, so we're gonna do this again, and I apologize for the wind, it's a windy day, but so be it. I don't know, can you, you hear the wind? Probably. All right, so I'm gonna do another walk real fast with this, and then I'm gonna come back with a run. All right, here it goes. Right, just so you guys know, the Smooth 4 gimbal seems to want to be lopping itself to the side. Now, I don't want to blame this. I do think I just need to do some calibration of the gimbal. So don't look at that, just look at the wobble. All right, let's go inside. All right, guys, so we're back upstairs. Hopefully you guys got a chance to look at some of the video from this. I actually think for a hundred bucks, it's a pretty good deal. I've seen a lot of videos that said that there was just as much or more vertical wobble because of this. But like anything, I do think you have to practice your walking skills. If you're someone that holds a standard gimbal and it's still all over the place, then there's nothing magical going to stop that from happening. You still need to have some good control over how your arms and things work. But this can really, at least for me, definitely helped it out. When I ran some of that footage actually through a stabilizer, it actually came out even better. But I was really impressed. I thought the footage was definitely better. Now, if this thing was, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars, uh, I would definitely spend more time thinking about whether it was something I really needed. But at the $99 mark, I think it's great. I think it's a nice little tool and something that can be a great addition to your toolkit. Especially for me, I was looking at something just for two arms so I could hold it like this, my stabilizer. And even just standard arms with a, with a rod were coming the same price as this, so I figured why not. All right guys, 
That's it. I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's it for today. All right, my friends. We will see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Later. See, look at this footage. Look at this footage. Run it through some stabilizer. Pretty solid. Have to say, pretty solid. What do you think? What do you think?